Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend Mainar from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on building estimation. So friends, today we'll find out the barbering schedule of a double layered reinforcement footing. So we'll start as you can see this is the footing layout and we have six types of footing here and this is the footing schedule and using that we are going to find out the total bars required for this particular footing and we are going to do this using MS Excel. So first of all, let's get started. So F1, we already have this Excel sheet. You can make this using a simple, uh, you know, this Excel commands. Okay. So we'll just go on to select this and make more space for the two layers. We'll just insert new cells here. And insert new cells like this. Insert and insert and uh, this will be this can be another cell can be inserted like this so or else we can just skip this and uh, we can just copy all this and paste it here so this will be uh, the longer span uh, bottom or we can just simply name b and this is the bottom b and this is the top so two layers of reinforcement bottom and top and we are going to find out the bar bending schedule of it so firstly the diameter of the bar along the longer span so let's check the structural drawing so uh, f1 we have two spans as you can see this is the longer span uh, along this and this is the shorter span so i can check here so this is basically your xx and this is basically your yy so this is the two spans which they have considered here and uh, if we can check here so the spacing of the bars along the xx so for bars along the xx we have in the top 16 mm diameter bars so uh, so basically here if you can check what is the longer span this is the shorter span and this is the longer span so uh, first of all if we just fill up the uh, top one top reinforcement so top reinforcement longer span so top reinforcement longer span will be our this yy so in yy we have used here as you can check uh, this 12 mm bars so in yy we just write 12 mm bars here number of bars we'll calculate later and uh, this sorry not here it's it will be here okay so 12 mm bars and number of bars will calculate later number of footing we can just calculate here so we had already uh, calculated the number of footings earlier and uh, we can also check how many f1 are here so here we can check one f1 is there only one number of f1 is there so number of footings here will be one and they will be one everywhere We'll just make this one okay number of footing is one and then the number of bars will calculate and uh, length of the bar so length of the bar will be based on the this three uh, additions so we'll just this is the you know the particular hook length which will go up and down so this we can uh, change so basically what will be the value of this hooks here so we can do here for this top and uh, bottom reinforcement what we can do is we have the depth of the footing here which is 350 so we can do just calculate here 0 0.35 uh, minus your 0 0.15 so this is 75 mm cover on both sides so it will be 0 0.2 and this 0 0.2 minus we can do further the uh, diameter of the bottom bar we can do that and the diameter of the top bar see the top reinforcement here is 16 mm so 0 0.016 minus 0, 0.0 if we can check the bottom diameter the bottom diameter is uh, here uh, the bottom diameter is 12 mm so the top diameter is uh, combined your 16 and 12 so let's do this as 12 and let's keep this 12 into 
2. This will give us an idea. So it is around 176. So 175 is good. So we'll just maintain this 175 hook length. That is this one and this one. For both the top and the bottom, we'll keep the same same hook length. Okay. So once we have finalized that, we'll just calculate this B. So for this, as you can see here, what will be the B? The B will be this particular 3179 3, minus the cover on both sides. So we can calculate it here. We can just write it. Uh, this B will be actually be the same for the longer span. Okay. So for the longer span, the B will be the same. So it will be equals to E or 3.719 minus 0 0.75 into 2 that will be 0 0.15 so it will be the same for both the spans that is the longer span so this is the longer span so for the longer span the b will be this much because it will be placed like this along the longer span it will be placed like this so the b will be 3.179 minus 0 0.15 so we have decided the B, we have decided the A and C. So the length of the bar, they will calculate. You can ask, add these three, three values, you will get the length of the bar. So the next thing is total length of the bar. So total length of the bar will be your number of bars into number of footings into the total length of bars. So only uh, thing we have to correct here is our, your total length of the bar. So for the total length of the bar, what we can do is we have this particular area total number of bars sorry so for the total number of bars what we can do we have this uh, particular uh, area for the uh, your placing of the footing no what we have is we have this particular length so when we we'll do this then automatically we can do that so we'll just change that this l7 to uh, let's say l8 we'll just exchange this and after we you know that uh, give that value that value will be automatically changed okay so this value also we'll just do this as l7 this is good okay so now this after this uh, is done properly then we'll come back to it okay for the shorter span for the shorter span the diameter of bar used as you can see this is the uh, this is the shorter span so this is the you know xx so for the xx the diameter of the bar used at the top is 16m di so 16m diameter bar is used so let's do this as 16 okay and uh, put number of footing is one number of bar we'll calculate later obviously it has calculated here uh, this this will be the length which is available at the shorter span so uh, it's interesting that this is the shorter span and the length which is available because the bars along the shorter span which will be placed the length which is available for placing the bars along the shorter span will be placed like this is this one this one minus the cover so it is already calculated minus the cover, cover this length is already calculated and after that the spacing you can note, note it down the spacing is along xx 125 so you can use the roundup command and you can divide it by 0.125 so it will round up by one single value also so the total length divided by uh, the spacing and plus one it will do that so this is this this is the correct number of bars here number of footings is okay shape we are good with that and length of the bar for the length of the bar we'll just do this as uh, equals to sum of these three okay so this three will be the length of the bar and we just need to change this one so this one let's see what will be the length of the bar here so the length of the bar which will be available here is your let's check so since it is placed, let's check how it is placed. So it is placed along the xx. So the length of the bar will be your one point. You will see the value 15.117. It will be equals to 15.117 minus 0 0.15. That is 75 mm cover from both sides. That's 0 0.15. 75 mm, 75 mm, 150 mm. This will be the total length of this particular bars.
which will be placed like this like this in the shorter span so this is the total length so now we will have the total length of the bar now total uh, length of bar so this is the length of one bar this is the total length of bar which will be number of bar into number of footing into our length of the bar and so this is the value and this will be the weight of the bar per meter so this is simple formula d square by 162 where d is in mm and 162 is the value and which by which we will get the total weight of the bar in meter and then the next thing is total weight of the bar in kg for total weight of the bar in kg we will just multiply this weight in kg per meter into the total length of the bar so this will give the total length of the bar in kg so when we get the total weight uh, and then we will also get the weight per meter then we get the total weight of that particular bar in kg so similarly now we can come back to this so here the number of bars will be uh, the as you can see this is the longer span so it will be laid along uh, the the bars in the longer span will be laid along the short, shorter span opposite span so as you can see this will be the space which is available because uh, this uh, we are placing it you know along the longer span so this will be the space which is available and the total bars has been calculated here and the spacing of 125 so let us check the spacing once again so you can check here the spacing along yy is 200 so here this is okay but this one is this spacing of the bars along the yy or the shorter span will just have to change this to 200 and we are good so this is as you can see along the shorter span this is the uh, this is this is the bar along the shorter span so along the shorter span we have bars of yy and the bars of yy is placed number of bars we calculate this is 120 bars and this is the length of the bars total length of the bars weight d square by 162 and then the total weight that is uh, unit weight into the total length of the bars so like that we have calculated the top reinforcement similarly we will do the bottom reinforcement as well and then we can we will show you how to calculate the total length of bars which will be used in this particular footing so similarly for the bottom also uh, we will move forward and we will check the schedule so at the bottom along along x x we have 250 12 bars at the rate 250 center to center so diagonal bar just to do this 12, 12 mm this is also 12 mm and the spacing here is 250 250 and this spacing is also 250 250 and then this particular L5 we'll just do this as L6 okay and this one this one is L5 this is okay okay so this is this is done number of footing is one this lengths are okay so we'll change this this particular length so this is the longer span this is along the longer span B so if we check this is the longer span okay this bar has been placed along the longer span that is the 12 mm bars at a as you can see here along the longer span this has been placed yy 12 mm bars at a spacing of 250 center to center okay so we'll calculate the length along the longer span so the length along the longer span it will be the same for the bottom and the top so we'll just do this as equals to this one and we'll just do this equals to this one so this is the length along the shorter span and this is the length along the bottom along the short larger span so we have done length for both the spans here so the length of the bar same uh, using the same method we'll calculate that total length of the bar this number of bars into number of uh, footings here and, uh, and into this length of one single bar and weight of the bar d square by 162 total weight 
we have multiplied that unit weight with the total length in meter and calculated it so like that we can find out the total lengths and as well as the weight of the bar which have to be used so now like this we have to complete all the remaining footings up to f6 so suppose we have calculated up to the footing f6 and after that how will you find the rod which have to be procured at the site because that is the ultimate purpose of the barbering schedule that is you can give as an engineer you can give the number of quantity or the uh, as in weight or the pieces because some uh, rods like uh, this uh, tata disc on this comes in pieces and some rod comes in kg so you can give the total weight or total number of pieces which will be you have procured set so how can you do that so this is very simple uh, you multiply it by factor of you know this uh, wastage percentage let's take a five percent so it is uh, 1.05 and then you can add the total weight of the bars suppose we are finding out the total 12 mm bars which will be used in all this six footings so we add all this uh, all the total weight which you have found for this you know 12 mm bars and after that what we'll do we'll just add it and write it here so this is the total weight and then after that how can you find out the number of pieces so for that there is a very uh, simple method to find out the number of pieces here so as you can see we already have this total weight so if we if we have this total weight it is in kg so we can divide it by as you can see this is the next number we can divide it by the unit weight so if we divide it by the unit weight it will the weight will come in your per meter so we can get the kg divided by so what we are doing is here we are dividing the total weight of the bar divided into divided by the bar of one single piece so how have we done that let's just show you so the weight of length of a single bar is 12 meter which is available in the market and the unit weight can be find out found out using the formula of d square by 162 so if we multiply the unit weight that is weight of 1 meter into this 12 meter bar then you can find out the total you know total weight of a single river so let's show you by example suppose we have a bar of 8 mm okay i'm just writing here dia of bar 8 mm and the unit weight of this bar that is if we then the unit weight in your kg per meter the unit weight will be calculated like this this can square this and you can divide this by 162 so this will give you the unit weight of the bar So you have found the unit weight, and now you can find out the total weight of one piece. So total weight of one piece of this 8 mm bar it will be equals to this. Sorry, it will be equals to this 12 meter 12 cross this unit weight. So that's we what we have done. This is the total weight in kg of one eight mm bar of twelve meter length. So, like this, we have found out the total pieces of the bars which will be required for this particular footing. So, like that, we can calculate the uh, barbering schedule of any footing which has double layer reinforcement. Hope you got to learn something new in this video. Do share with your friends. because sharing is caring bye bye